time, but now nah, you got a co-sign from Gucci Man. Yeah. What? So that what about the hundred thousand? Does that really matter? Hundred K ain't no money. I'm a street nigga. Got five first degree felonies, lawyer fees, a car. A nigga ain't never had none. You got let's say roughly. Roughly 30000 to play with. And you a young nigga ain't never had shit. Man, that money gonna be gone by next week. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. It ain't about music at all. Like, uh, I think uh, High Boy West learned that, though, by coming over here doing doing interviews with you. And his interviews doing shit it's though. Crazy, though. Mm-hmm. I got a call mm-hmm. from Jeez. South Carolina. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a call from South Carolina last night. A guy was like, man, I was sleeping on High Boy West till I started. He's called me out the, blue. out the blue. I didn't even know it. I, didn't. I, I was watching his page the other day. He's doing all kind of, you know, uh, TikToks and you know yeah. he his personality done came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so that's why all the artists gotta understand it's not about just rapping. People want to see your personality. So right now, if if you didn't know how boy was music, then you know at the end of the day you watch his personality, and then you go look at the music. Yeah. So, what do you think about him so far now that you you've been you've seen uh, him? Because you didn't really pay attention to him at first either, did you? Yeah, I was. You was yeah. I, was I calling forgot him you for the two doctor. Years. You ain't I was playing no game. For two years before, you was before I was calling his people and people in Waco. DJ Poseidon, who's that yelling nigga over there? You know, uh, man, you know, yeah. I had my hands around him. He signed the Gucci man. Yeah. See, we've been making $100,000 a month. Damn. You know that, how to do it. That's huh? a bad-ass cosign. That's why I was like, man, I mean, you know, it's a learning situation. You know, people got to get the right team around them and, you know, the right uh, structure around them. But, now nah, you got a cosign from Gucci, man? Yeah. What? So, that what about the 100000 Does that really matter? 100K ain't no money. I'm a street nigga. Got five first-degree felonies, lawyer fees, a car. A nigga ain't never had none. You got, let's say, roughly... Roughly 30000 to play with. And you a young nigga ain't never had shit. Man, that money gonna be gone by next week. After you get a co-sign from Gucci, man, like that? It should be so much money floating in that you wouldn't even have to worry about it to the exactly. end of the day. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, right, it's right when, he, right when he signed the Gucci, man, that's $15,000 a show. 5000 yeah. 5, for a verse, 2000 for a video. You, 7, 000, you should make you 7000 for a verse and video, 10 videos a month. That's, that's $70,000 just on uh, videos, not including the shows. So, roughly, you, sh- uh, you should be right at $200,000 a month. Damn. For shows versus videos, not even including the ass cap and the publishing money. Man, you know, you, you, you've been through a lot to, to know that. Like, uh, average managers that walk in here and sit down in that mm-hmm. seat don't be knowing that. Yeah. No, they don't. Now nah, I'm saying shit. If I knew my artist signed motherfucking 1017, I've been on the, <laughs> on the way back on the plane. I've been booking shows. Man, you know I had <laughs> what I had John, Johnny. What's the name? Johnny, Johnny Damn D. D. Yeah. He had uh, Enchantment after she walked away. You know, basically she left him when when she caught the plane to go to 1017. He told he said on this show he say she left him. He didn't get to go. He was a I manager. I was just thinking about that when he but said that. He didn't get to go. Now you know, no Johnny good though. Like I I explained to Johnny. Johnny right now is is, is my top three hardest working artists in DFW right now. Oh yeah, yeah. He working. He got working a lot of people right now. And uh, like he in as an artist, but not as a manager. I told him fuck that rapping shit. How? What? Why are you telling? Why? Huh? Why? why? Because uh. So you think he should stay a manager and just be a manager, or you think he should still do he his need, own music? Yeah, he need to. He need to be a manager. He is executive. He is, he, he he nice. He he help people. He executive producer. He a manager. He he know this proper uh, routes to take somebody to the top. Mm-hmm. You know when you. But then he got burnt by by enchanting. That's, by, a, that's a lesson learned. Y'all, yeah, she didn't burn him. She didn't burn him as. Um, uh, 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 artist and manager, she burnt him as a boyfriend. Mm. Cool, yeah. I thought I, he said that too, yeah. but he said if he had to do it over again, he wouldn't change a thing because he had a controller. Yeah, he like had a that. controller, but right? That's what he said. He had a controller, but at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, you got to make your prison so felt that the artist understand what you mean to them when you're not in their prisons. Mm-hmm. So there is a way that you can do it without deal with a female artist, yeah. without actually it's hard sleeping though. with them. It's hard, like my, like it's hard. I, I think that's where I'm going wrong because I ain't sleeping with them. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to make them understand and trust you because you know you might call in the middle of the night and be like, uh, you might call in the middle of the night and be like, shit, I got a, uh, I got a verse you could do or talk about some music, but then they laying right next to the nigga that they love. 
So, mm-hmm. you know, he might get jealous, like, but why does Nick keep calling late at night? So she stopped answering the phone for you. And, you know, it, it's kind of, it's it, it's difficult, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a female artist, manager a female artist, as a male fat manager a female artist, it's difficult because if that female artist don't understand the game plan and understand the assignment, then then it's like it's pointless. But you as a male manager, I think that um, in business, period, you're supposed to know the game. When I say know the game, you're supposed to have a female assistant with you that she the one making those calls to those female yeah, yeah, artists nah, be like, Yeah, hey, I learned it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.